from CareCo TV, one of the longest running outdoor programs on television today. Exploring the country and the coast in search of adventures. From the mountains of the great Northwest to the shores of the Atlantic Ocean, this is Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. This week, Americana Outdoors brings you the hunts for two of North America's most sought after species, the white-tailed deer and turkey. We'll follow Yamaha ATV and side-by-side -side Steve Nessel in the field while he looks to harvest a mature whitetail with his TC Venture rifle. But let's start with the Rio Grande Wild Turkey of Texas. We welcome our special guests from High Viz Sites, Trevor Young and Lanny Barnes, for turkey hunting down in Brackettville, Texas. And to show us why High Viz Sites received rave reviews from hunters around the country. I'm a recreational turkey hunter. Uh, you know, come from, from the west where we're at, uh, hunt all kinds of big game, deer, elk, antelope, sheep, everything. You know, every other trip I've been down here hunting, we're always, there's, there's turkeys around, they're, they're near you or, or on top of you almost. Uh, so it's, it was a pretty fun hunt, it was exciting. First things first, when we got down here, we headed out to the range and, and sighted in. Whenever you travel, it's really important to check, make sure that you're, you're zero, still zeroed, your sights didn't get bumped or anything's wrong with the firearm, uh, you know, good, good to function test uh, before you head out into the woods. So we have our Trivis turkey sight. Uh, mounted here in our shotgun. It's a front and rear sight. It's fully adjustable for windage and elevation. This is a unique sight. It has a not conventional sight picture. Instead of having a U-notch with two dots in the rear and a dot in the front, this one actually has three triangle points. Um, and they're super bright. Uh, the triangle gives you a very fine point of aim. So you align the top tip of the front triangle right center with the two triangles in the rear sight. One of the unique things about this sight is you have a full view of the target. Conventional sights obscure the target from the top of the sight down, and this gives you the ability to see around the, the entire sight and see the target. Uh, the rear has a windage adjustment. We have a windage screw lock on the top here, and the two light pipes move together as one unit to adjust your windage. And then the front sight, we have a triangle, and we'll be changing these triangles out from taller to shorter to adjust our elevation. Trivis site. It's absolutely amazing. Um, what I love the most about it is it helps helps you keep your head down um, on the stock where it, where it belongs and helps you get a good uh, sight alignment with the turkey. It's great, especially for people that really struggle with shotguns, because a lot of people, you know, they, they'll get on a bird and they'll pick their head up to look at it, and then they'll take a bad shot. So uh, a site like the Trivis really helps in keeping you your head down in the proper position so you can get a good shot. We're ready. <laughs> Trevor and Lanny split up and go to different parts of the camp. Trevor is out hunting with Americana Outdoors' Jeff Reynolds. It was storming the night before, around 3 in the morning. We went out and it looked good. Uh, called to the turkeys, located them, you know, they answered back. We were just waiting for them to come off the roost and then another little cell started moving in. <laughs> and we just got under some cover just in time to have a, a real boomer come in and just dump on us rain and hail for probably 15, 20 minutes. It's showing that it's almost past us, but uh, like most weathermen I know, they're not right because as you can see, it's coming a flood. So after about 20 minutes or so, it let off and we were able to get back out there and get after it, but it was just, I don't know if it was the storm or, or that and just the wind, uh, but uh, just, couldn't, just couldn't get them to come in. But we toughed it out for a while, went in for lunch and uh, regrouped and cleared up a little bit. Uh, we went back out in the afternoon, same spot. You know, we're sitting there for two, two and a half hours, finally get a little gobble. I mean, we knew the birds were out there in the area, but it was real windy. Um, so once they finally came in, you know, well, I was just wondering if we were even going to get any of them. But then all of a sudden, we're covered up in toms. Uh, you, got, you got nothing happening, and then you got, pretty soon you got 
turkey all over you and you got deer and you got some odd dad walking through and uh, uh, so again it did not disappoint the variety of game you get to see. I don't know if they were just uh, getting excited or what but they picked up and started trotting off and then the other Tom behind us he takes off running so I, they looked like they were all buggering out of there. You got it. <laughs> we got him. Well, my first Rio, and that was an exciting hunt. Pretty nice beard, maybe maybe nine inches, eight, nine inches. Nice heavy bird, nice fan. Probably a 35 yard shot, and uh, Trivis got no problem. I mean, you put that thing up there, it just lights right up and uh, no problem getting right on his head. And awesome, that was an exciting hunt. Well, coming up, three-time Olympian biathlete Lenny Barnes is looking to get her first Rio Grande turkey. We know if you found one crappie, you may have found a thousand. We know the joy of getting your boots back in the mud. We know the journey can be more rewarding than the destination. We know the great outdoors, we love the great outdoors. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Stop by today for huge savings on the gear you need and the brand you trust. Plus free two day shipping at BassPro.com and Cabela's.com. How do you aim a 36 yard shot with a 30 yard fixed pin at a 15 degree angle? with a seven inch holdover without moving a single pin? Easy. You get one of these. Zero. The auto ranging digital bow sight from Garmin. Americana Outdoors presented by Garmin is brought to you by Garmin Zero. Leave the guesswork behind. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Thompson Center, America's master gun maker. And by Hi Viz. See what you've been missing. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. Our special guest today is Lanny Barnes, a professional shooter and a three time Olympian biathlete. You know, I'm a very patriotic person, and, and when I hear the national anthem, I usually end up crying. But um, walking in behind the flag, with the whole stadium erupting into chanting USA. I mean, it just gives you such a sense of pride and, and uh, you know, being able to compete for your country and for all your family and friends back home. It's hard to explain, but there's no better feeling in, in the world. I competed in three Olympics and retired after the 2014 games. And from there, I jumped into three gun, a lot more shooting, less running. So it was, it was just, it was kind of a natural fit. It was perfect, uh, so much fun, a lot of action in the shooting and I've been doing that ever since. When you compete at a really high level in sport, you seek out the best possible equipment you can find. And, you know, I try everything under the sun, and, and I, I discovered high vis and, and it instantly, it helped me pick up on that front sight better, and I improved my shooting tremendously. This is why I've been using a high vis sight on my shotgun all along, because it works. It makes that big of a difference. In the same morning while Trevor was looking out for Rio, Lenny was also out hunting. We are here in South Texas getting ready to head out this morning to chase some turkeys. We had a little storm roll through, a lot of rain, but it's kind of clearing up, so we're going to head out and see what we can find.
my first Texas turkey. I've shot a ton of Merriams. I've never hunted turkeys outside the state of Colorado and got the opportunity to come down here and, and uh, this is awesome. The Trivis Hivis site worked perfectly. You know, we had a lot of obstruction between him and the our blind and I just waited until he came out and it's awesome. <laughs> Check out the latest HiViz products at HiVizSites.com and see what you've been missing. Americana Outdoors will be right back. See what you've been missing. The all new Yamaha Wolverine X2. With a compact chassis, perfect for exploring tight technical terrain. An ultra quiet and smooth 850 class twin cylinder engine and next level versatility with a 600 pound dumping cargo bed. No other side by side delivers this level of proven off road performance. The all new Wolverine X2 from Yamaha. Outdoors presented by Garmin has been brought to you by Angle Coolers, rugged, durable, high performance marine coolers. 10 point crossbow technologies, perfection lives here. And by Yamaha's proven off road ATV and side by side vehicles. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. Yamaha ATV and side-by-side -side Steve Nessel has been hunting at our deer camp every year since forever. He's packing his gear and loading it up on the Wolverine X2, ready for a whitetail hunt this morning. We're actually, uh, it's my first morning in Texas. It's December and it's, uh, it's cool, but not too cold. It rained all day yesterday, got in. I actually got a doe last night, um, but I'm excited for this hunt. It, uh, I'm going back to a spot that I've hunted before. It, uh, it's about the middle, starting on the down swing of the rut. Again, after a day of rain, we're hoping the deer are moving, but we don't really know what we're gonna see, so. We got in there that morning, maybe a little late, the sun was coming up as we were settling in, and before you know it, deer were already in the, in the setup. There's two bucks, and one of them's pretty good. He ended up being not that big, but at certain angles and certain light, he looked huge. He looked huge, and I could put him anywhere from two and a half to eight and a half, depending on how much I wanted to get the gun up at any time. But he was a good looking deer, and he was fun to, to mull over and think about and agonize over. He ended up walking a doe, escorting a doe out of the setup. She was walking out and he was just flanking her. He was not gonna leave her and, or if I haven't mentioned, it's a rut in Texas right now. So he had things on his mind. And the doe and the, and the buck left the, left the setup. All of a sudden there's a huge pig in front. I'm thinking, shoot the pig, we still got time. Maybe if I do a good job as a hunter, I'll see where that pig goes and maybe the deer will come back in. So pig dead in front of us, uh, no tracking, I love that. We are gonna be able to go get him in the X2. There really wasn't much movement after that. When I looked to the, down to the left again, and magically there's a buck. And it's the same doe and it's the same buck that left the setup about half an hour, 45 minutes earlier. 
they've just been cruising, he's just been following her, looking for his opportunity. For whatever reason, she bedded down about 20 yards away from us. And I know she bedded down because I watched the buck bed down. We were almost ready to leave for the morning and we're stuck. But it's still such a cool experience. To, to live the life of a whitetail buck in the middle of the rut um, was, was just fun to watch it happen. As we sat there in the stand, eventually the doe got up and walked away. He got up and walked away. We, uh, Kevin and I looked at each other and, and really counted it as a great morning. Not too bad, it's a pretty good size. Ah, got a little, little bullet hole right here. That's a pretty good shot. Good size boy. One, two. Coming up, Steve goes back out in the field in the afternoon to a box blind he hunted a couple of years ago, where he saw a big buck, but never got a chance to shoot him. Feed your need for speed. The Nitro XRT unleashes speeds up to 470 feet per second, producing 25% flatter aero trajectory, resulting in knock-breaking accuracy and unprecedented knockdown power. The world has never seen a crossbow this fast, accurate, and compact. The Nitro XRT from 10 Point. For those with an insatiable desire to pursue all Mother Nature has to offer, Thompson Center delivers the ultimate in versatility with the interchangeable TC Encore Pro Hunter, giving shooters over 50 configurations including handgun, rifle, shotgun, and muzzle loader. The TC Encore Pro Hunter, one gun to chase all your dreams. Americana Outdoors presented by Garmin has been brought to you by Bradley Smoker. Food smoking made easy. Walker's Game Ear, protect it or lose it. And by Record Rack, serious nutrition. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. Well, after harvesting a big hog to donate to Smith & Wesson's wild game dinner, Yamaha's Steve Nessel is going back out for the afternoon hunt. I guess lucky for me, I, I have favorite places around here on the different properties and I know what I'm hunting with and we come up with, uh, I'm going to go to the pain in the, in the you know what, pain in the backside, pain in the arse, just the pain stand because it's hard to get to. It's a fun place to sit again because you can see a long way but it is really a pain in the you know what to get, it just, it just takes a while. Right? I'm hearing stories about trucks getting stuck, having to get pulled out with heavy equipment and we come up on a mud hole and, and we just breeze through it. And I, I love using the, the Wolverine or even the Vikings or any of the, the Yamaha UTVs out here when it comes to that kind of those kind of situations because it makes getting to and from in adverse conditions easy. When you have to worry about it with a truck or when the ride to and from in a truck is less than comfortable, um, sure you maybe have more cargo space but you're going to take longer, it's going to hurt more, you're going to beat up your vehicle. So we get in the X2 and we got into the pain in the arse and back, no worries. And for a while, it was a little slow. Uh, we had a couple of small bucks come in. We had a couple of does milling around. I get my binoculars over, and immediately I notice that it's one of the deer. It's the heavy horned eight. And eventually, when he walked out to the road to jump the fence to go out in front of us, uh, Jeff said, "Yep, that's him, and he's old. He looks he looks to be probably at least five. And I like to say he posed." He walked out and he said, here, I'll make it easy on you. He didn't look back at me, but he stayed there that way, broadside for probably a good three, four minutes. And I looked at Jeff and Jeff laughed. I think Jeff laughed at me and the mom was like, you don't know what to do, do you? No, I don't have any idea what to do. That's a good buck. I, I like that deer. He's old, he's cool. He's on the list. I, I didn't know what to do at the time. And so the deer, he stopped posing for me. He settles in, he starts feeding, you know, walking the door around. Jeff and I settled in, we're waiting to see if anything else comes. And there really wasn't a lot else, a lot of other action. So wouldn't you know, after a while, the deer 
moves out, he moves away from the other deer, he stands broadside. The deer maybe could sense it because he didn't want to stop moving. He was moving around, getting some behind some brush in front of other deer, behind other deer. But eventually, he uh, facing to our right, He's laying right there. Is he? I can't Jumping see him. His tracks. It felt like <laughs> I keep getting told I clear the gun too soon. <laughs> He's got some of the same genes of the deer I got last year. Just the same thing kind of comes forward up here with his twos. Bladed, but just thick, massive. He's got like five little stickers off his right base alone. This stuff's so much fun to look at. He's awesome. He's an old deer for sure, big body. He looked old, he was getting all puffed up. He wasn't pushing any deer around, but you could tell nobody wanted a piece of him. So much character. True, cool looking old buck. I have another buck tag. I don't know what we have planned, but I'm happy. I, oh, shoot me some pigs. And pig indeed. The next morning, Steve goes on a wild hog hunt with his TC Venture Weather Shield 300 Wind Mag. Huge fan of the Thompson Center Weather Shield lineup of rifles because it's built to be able to withstand the harshest of harsh conditions when I look at it. Uh, when you start looking at the stock and the way it's molded and, and built to so the way that the barrel um, is, is dropped in there and the weather shield aspect of it, snow, wind, rain, heat, doesn't matter. It's going to handle all of that and perform in those conditions. So if a guy's trying to climb up a mountain, going to be in the snow and the harsh conditions of Wyoming or wherever it may be, you know you, you've got a platform that's designed for it. Uh, we shoot that platform a lot in 300 wind mag because I feel like if I'm in the harshest of harsh conditions, a lot of times I want the biggest oomph and pow and power that I can find. And that caliber mix, uh, whether we're shooting whitetail, big pigs, or whatever, it's going to knock them down. <laughs> I know I got two of them. I was trying to get two of them. Well, we're wrapping up Americana Outdoors this week on a high note. Steve Nestle just took out two pigs with one bullet. Wow, what a shot. Maybe we should call him Two Hog Steve instead of Two Shot Steve from now on. You can find out more about TC Venture Bold Action Rifles at Thompson Center website at tcarms.com. Oh, hey, and don't forget to check out the full lineup of high-vis shooting systems at BassPro.com and Cabela's.com. Well, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on Americana Outdoors. Americana Outdoors is a Careco TV production. For precise prescription eyewear, Wiley X knows there's no room for error. We meticulously craft our own prescription lenses to fit our high wrap frames. And our ANSI safety rated lenses are tested to uncompromising standards. Nothing but precise. Because precision is everything. Want to know why the top shooting pros choose HiViz? HiViz has an enormous lineup of sights for every shooting platform possible that are clean looking and easy to mount. Improve your shooting with faster target acquisition and eliminate cross-eyed dominance. HiViz sights are the brightest out there, helping you find your target with ease no matter the shooting conditions. Choose the best, choose HiViz, and see what you've been missing. We demand a lot from the products that we use on our adventures around the world. When it comes to keeping things seriously cold, we rely on Angle Coolers, who have for over 50 years kept things cold. Angle Coolers.
the original high-performance cooler. What does it take to make Evercom deer scent? It takes a deer farmer who raises whitetails. It takes mixing the special blend of Evercom, testing each batch. It smells like deer. And then pouring each container. Each container is cleaned, examined, and packaged for shipping. It takes the finest deer herd and a great team of people to make the best hunting scent available. Evercom, from Conquest Scents. Nobody likes crawling, creepy, or flying bugs. So ward them off with Sawyer Permethrin. It's more than a repellent. This odorless spray repels and kills mosquitoes, ticks, and more than 55 other kinds of insects. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. Many said that we were just obsessed when we started, that there had to be an easier way to smoke food. As time passed, the Bradley family created a lineup of Bradley electric smokers that has made it easier for the novice or even expert chef to get perfect results every time they use it. Grab yourself a Bradley smoker and take your cooking to an all new level. We plan all year for this. We hone our skills. We have confidence in the gear we choose. We pour over thousands of images and videos. When the time comes, will you be ready? Introducing the all new 4K camera by Stealth Cam. Proven. Protect it or lose it. 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 forgetting to set a recording or missing the latest episode of your favorite outdoors show check out outdoor action today never miss a second of shows like americana outdoors cabela's fisherman's handbook and whitetail diaries all of this at the press of a button without a subscription fee required start watching your favorite shows when you want to watch them by going to outdooraction.com or through the outdoor action channel on any roku device mm -hmm.